Hey guys, what's going on? B here playing Mass Effect for the Xbox 360. Thank you guys so much for all the comments and suggestions on the last vlog. You guys are amazing. Because of that, we're playing this game as well as Mario Maker, so stay tuned for that. I love this game, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. All right, so we can go with a standard John Shepard, which I don't ever do. The, f the model on the face looks the best. Uh, but we're gonna go, uh, create a new ID, and we'll quick start mail, quick start custom, let's go custom mail. Now we gotta put in a name, it's not gonna be John. Uh, delete. Gosh, I haven't played a 360 in a long time, how do you delete? Okay. <laughs> okay, so B. Reese, uh-huh, B. Reese Shepard. It kind of it kind of rolls off the. Please log in to access your. Program. Sure, I will. Kind of rolls off the tongue, I guess. Right. Connection established. Sending all of my emails. Decrypting. Look at this. <coughs> I, I hope in the future. Oh, that, that's Warning. not good. Data corruption. I hope in the future one day our UI gets to be like this. <laughs> it's just boxes and colors. Please reconstruct profile. All right, so I got to reconstruct Confirm my profile. Research. This is your prehistory. Both your parents were Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on a on a ship and stations as they transferred from post to post, never staying in one location for more than a few years. You followed in your parents' footsteps and you enlisted at the age of 18. No, thank you. <laughs> this is a colonist. You were born and raised in Mindor, a small border colony uh, when you were 16, slavers raided it and slaughtered your family and friends. This is probably more up my alley. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol. You enlisted when the military, uh, with the new the military <laughs> a few years later. Oh my gosh, can't read. You were an orphan raised on the mean streets <laughs> of the great mega metropolis on Earth. Uh, okay, we're gonna, you know what, we're gonna, I don't want to be an orphan. That's more like... It's more like Darth Vader. I'm gonna be a colonist. Confirm psychological profile. Ooh, my psychological profile. Soul survivor. During your service, the mission where you went horribly wrong. Nice. Trapped in, a, in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses. Uh, that would have broken most people, but you survived. No. Nope. Uh, war hero. I could be a war hero. Basically, I am the best. Or I could be a ruthless person. Throughout your military career, you have held fast on one of the basic rules. Get the job done. Mm-hmm. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Yes. I'm brutal. I'm ruthless. Confirm military okay, so now we got our military specialization. Soldier's good with guns. Engineer. Tech specialties. Adapt. You can now, you can kind of bring them all into one, so... I want to say Vanguard is what I usually picked. Short range, uh, they use pistols, shotguns. I don't want to go shotguns. Sentinel, combined biotics and tech abilities. That could be good. Infiltrator. Snipers at medium armor. Biotic engineer. Uh, let's pick. Let's pick an infiltrator. I don't think I've ever played the infiltrator class. Uh, infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing and disabling enemies at long range. Perfect. What? Select bonus talent. Assault rifles? Throw. Throw, I'm guessing, is a push. And assault rifles would be good to have, though. Oh, man. Tough choices. Let's go with assault rifles, because I think I can eventually just upgrade and get a throw. Let's go with assault rifles. Confirm okay. Identification. Uh, change appearance, because we don't want to look like the stock man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's been so long since I've seen these faces. Okay, let's find one, a base one. I think I've always gone with this one, uh, right here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's, let's change his facial structure. This game never, and none of them do, allowed you to really go in depth, which is kind of a shame. I, I like a character creator where you can like manipulate the ears and the nose positions and how wide it is. That's uh I'm I'm a war hero, so maybe I have a scar on my eyebrow. <laughs> Just on my eyebrow. 
My head thickness? Oh, this is my neck thickness. Ah, that's good enough. Face size, I think it's fine there. Cheek width. Uh, ear size, orientation. So I played this at Bioware with, right when they were about to launch it. And we were only able to use the stock default Shepard. And I was always one for creating my own kind of custom characters. Because I want it to be like, I want to I wanna have some sort of of say and feel like I've contributed to it, right? Eye depth, uh, eye, iris color, here we go, you change this color. So I got like, I got hazel eyes. More greeny though, that's good. Jawline, I want to say the jaw's fine. Let me push his chin out. Jaw width. He's got a strong. Look at that, look at that face. Okay, we need more hair though. <laughs> we do need hair. Uh, nope. Nope. Sure. I want to say the, the lips look okay. Nose, shape. Um, a little bit wider, I think. I don't like that white, though. I would say these is probably okay. Depth. Give it a, out a little bit, right? Okay, so hair. This is the best part. Beards. He's got to have a 5 o'clock shadow. He's got to have some hair. Bald Shepherd did not exist. Uh-huh. Man, the hair was always so bad in this game. <laughs> it was so brutal. It was like four hairstyles. They should have, like, DLC'd some hair into this thing. Uh, let's go with dark color. Oh, man, that looks real bad. Uh... Is there like a yeah okay, so it kind of looks like me, right? Kinda. Yeah, we'll go with it. Finalized. Profile <laughs> complete. complete. Identification. Uh, combat normal, auto level up off. We'll level up ourselves. Subtitles I'll leave on for you guys because I'm gonna be talking through cutscenes. If you don't like that, too bad. Low squad power use is active. Auto saves on. Boom. These is, there's a space gate! Alright! Alright! Space gate it up! Loading. The one thing about the Xbox edition is the loading times. Beautiful Earth. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked me. You're darn right I do! He got most of his unit killed on top. No, he didn't. He yes, gets did. the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Mm -hmm. That's the only kind of person who can protect the Oh! Go away, Anderson. I'll make the call. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discover the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades to follow, these mysterious artifacts reveal the starting of new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. As the basis of all incredible te uh, incredible te no, shoot, I'm too slow. Mass Effect. Woo. If you guys bought this on the PS3, you had a uh, digital comic version of this game, I think, before the trilogy came out. There's Jupiter and the and the hurricane that hits it. Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Oh, right. It's Neptune. Beautiful Neptune. Man, I wish... I really wish I could fly through the stars. That's my one, one, like, bucket list thing, is if we ever become a space-faring civilization, I'm the first one getting on a spaceship. The SR-1. Garrison, cool. Beerus, and seven. Do, do, line it up. I think I'd be, I'd probably be like a, a specter, I think.
Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems All online. systems online. Cool. Drift, just under 1500k. Good man, Joker. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Yeah, of course. It's the Remember only... to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Man. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I agree. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker! Status, Status report, Joker. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks I want to say we're going to the Siddle. Find a calm buoy and link us into the... Oh no, Eden Prime. I want mission reports relayed back right. to the Lions Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Is he upset? Yeah, I heard. You made him mad. Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm going to pay Thanks for Thanks a lot, him. Joker. Don't blame I me. I blame you. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Three oh, look at that. 30 experience points. I got codex up. Codex in the start menu. Boom. Uh, oh man, this game was full, full of like this, uh, of just like information about the universe. It was absolutely insane. I loved it. I loved it going through every second of it. It, it all, it was most majority of it was voiced. They're always on a mission. We're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Presley, you jerk. Talk to. Him. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. It's always the but dudes in Engineering admit, that cause trouble. Joey this LaForge, the this guy. Feels it. Uh, I'll look into it. Just do your job. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a spectre, a Turian spectre, on a shakedown? Why wouldn't you? It doesn't add up. I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. All right, Presley. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place spectres visit. Yeah, shush you. Man. Shush your mouth. That's right. S salute me. You'll all be dead soon. <laughs> Wait, and talk to Corporal Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. Oh man, you're gonna get real action, bro. You're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Doc is right. Part of the job, Doc. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this you're, before, not one with a spectre You're a baby board. face. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by mm. himself. Man, Bet he I can't did. I'm on a mission with an actual specter. You'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can Don't do. Don't play the hero, Jenkins. This mission Smack is about personal you. glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything See the scar? Domestic. You got a scar from it. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. I, I, I feel like that's what we're going to see of Jenkins. <laughs> I don't remember him. 
Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Talk? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going Eden to. Eden Prime. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of I it. I know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it really? Is that a threat, Nihilus? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown. Run. That's obvious, bro. I already You were on the out. ship. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why this? There must be a reason you didn't tell me oh, about this secrecy. Sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. That's what I'm talking about. But That's what I need right now. We have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. I don't need your help here. You sound worried. Why, uh, why did we tell the Council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent. That was, that's what makes us dangerous. the best! Sharing that Boom! Improves humans! The council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. I should have known. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. <laughs> the Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name nice. forward as a candidate for the Spectres. What if I refuse? No, I support this captain. I assume this is good for the Alliance. And if I want, I want to be a Spectre. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Just get Let's the go. word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Uh oh. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. That's a firefight. I want to get in. Get down! Ashley. It's a reaper, giant squid in the sky. It's a reaper. It cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the thirty-eight point five. Status report. Seventeen minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance. Let's to do me. this. Grab your gear and meet us in the. Give me the hole. biggest gun I you got. I'll take it out right now. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. 
and then I'll look at the picture one more time so I know what to blow up. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. Sounds good. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. <laughs> the beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will that was a kind of a jerk move to leave us humans that are apparently the worst. Radio silence. Uh, he can count on us. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. All right. Let me off. Do my business. Don't turn off your console when it saves. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Kaden. Smells like smoke and death. Take your guns out. Uh, yeah, go there. I gotta get... Okay, so D-pad does the point-and-click thing. How do I switch my weapon? Kill them all! Kill them all! Ah! I'm the best. Okay, go there. <laughs> go there. Alright, let's see. Double check. Uh, options. Controller. Uh, ooh, you can't even see the layout. Perfect. That's, no, you know what? Don't need a layout. Why? I'll just figure it out on my own. Is it up? No, up is that. Down is that. Okay, so that's bye, bye, crouch. Uh-huh. That's the gr- that's the- <laughs> Shoot, it's a grenade. Cool, okay. It could do that. Okay, I gotta go through here. I think. I think it's this way. It's definitely not this way. It's not this way, guys. Sorry. On me. On my way. It is this way. It's gotta go through there. Okay, we'll run it. Through the swamp, through the swamp. Let's go, boys. What's that? Something I can raid? Recoil dampener. Cool. Okay, so we got that. Shoot, where do I gotta go again? <laughs> it's this way. <laughs> right up there. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Get my workout in. Just a morning workout. Get your weapons out. What is that? It's a person. Alright, the husk. Multiple of them. I know there's gonna be geth here. I think those things float and like explode near you. Oh jeez. Jenkins! I knew it! I told them you would die! I knew you would be dead. You're not the smartest. Okay. And... Let's see if I can get it. Boom! Oh! Oh! Thank you! Jenkins! Jenkins! Oh no! Ripped right through his shields. He ran a chance. Maybe. He deserved... <laughs> he deserves a burial. Oh, forget about him. I thought that said... Bru I think he deserves it brutal. Uh, we can't help him now. Forget about him. Uh, we can't help him now. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry That's on. That's right. We still have to find that beacon. There's nothing we can do. Aye, aye, sir. I 
still am not changing my weapon now. Okay, that's a waypoints. Waypoints on there. Oh, that's... Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, it's okay. I didn't need that one. That's tech ability. That's uh, gel. Hmm. There's only so many buttons I can press. Oh, great. Behind this, we can level up. Okay, whatever. Don't worry about the other weapons right now. Here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Upgrade kit. Heat sink. Hostile spotted. Thanks. Buddy, you don't think I can- Oh, 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 oh. Find cover. Jenkins, you're in my way. <laughs> or Caden. Jenkins is dead! I haven't lived- I haven't accepted his death. Go take that out. Ooh, man. More. Get out of my way! Hey. Out! Get wrecked! Gotta run it. Run in, run in, and run in. I have a sniper, and I also have... Oh, there's Ashley! Look at that awesome white armor! Oh, shoot! I don't know who he is. Oh! Oh! It's through the spine. That's no good. Come on, Ashley, you got this. Take my health. Okay, okay, okay. Boom, you're dead. There is a way to get my better weapons here. There we go. Oh man, what a derp. Just hold the left bumper. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened to your unit? Where's Where the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Don't blame yourself. You abandoned them, or killed them. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save I couldn't them. help Jenkins. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. Join us. It might still be there. Come on, Ashley. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Uh, beacon before the attack. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. And the scientists? What happened to them? What happened to the researchers at the Obviously, dig site? they died. I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. I, I, see, I doubt it. <laughs> Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. And, uh, Beacon. Tell me about Tell it. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the Beacon. 
Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Let's go. Move out, boys and girls. Let's do this. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching this episode of Mass Effect. If you do enjoy the series, slap that like button, and I'll see you next time on Eden Prime. Bye-bye.